Yo, what up, man? It's been a minute, man. So I actually did a video. It's been a minute. I know it's been about a few months. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of things I need to get dealt with. Just know that your brother's always with Christ's team. You feel me? Yo, I wanted to share this testimony, homie, that just happened literally this evening. Me coming from work and having a ministry board meeting and everything else, man. Kind of contemplating or not even going to the store I thought I was going to go to. I was planning on maybe going in the morning, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe so I stop. And I did. I want him stopping at the store. And I want him seeing another brother there who actually asked for prayer about five days earlier. And I contacted him two days earlier with no response. It was amazing because the fact is that I'm dressed like this. You know what I'm saying? I got my, I got my joint on. You know what I mean? Brother got a hoodie, you know what I'm saying? You thought I'm about to run up on something, try to rob him or something, or do some harm, but nah. I'm just trying to stay warm, because, bro, it's like high 30s, low 40s right now within Houston, man. It got kind of cold, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, when I talk about a godsidence, I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in godsidence. God set it up. He orchestrate how people going to connect and, and, and link up and be able to to really this uh, fellowship, pray for, whatever. Bruh, will you see me like this? I got sweats on, I got this hoodie. My man is dressed up with a suit. Just think about somebody wearing a suit with no tie. My homeboy is freshly cut, fresh dressed, always for his for his business, but it's basically his, his uh, personality. What I mean this dude was struggling with some thoughts, demonic thoughts, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of abandonment, thoughts of rejection, thoughts of isolation, you know, battling so much emotion because he's a single dad of a 10-year-old girl, man, and this issue with the child mom and shorty being vindictive and trying to manipulate the court and even the paper when he had rights, he's trying to go to the school and say all this stuff. Yo, man, I'm telling you, man, God always going to show up rightly when it's needed, bro. Right when you think you want to give up and you want to give in and sometimes those temptation, those thoughts are, it, it, it seems or appears that it's overbearing, God always shows up rightly, man. If you choose to allow him to do so, because we do have a choice, it's free will, we have a choice to not take his opportunities he give us, man, and choose to do our own thing and to make those final decisions, you feel me? So we have that right to make those decisions, but as long as we don't, he gonna set it up for us to be able to put people in our life, man, to help us out, man, to, to be our manna, a deadly manna, to, to come through in the clutch. You feel me? Yo, man, I'm just I'm just so uh, I'm just even more amazed, even more with the Lord, son, because there's so many things happening over my life and me being redeemed and things like this happening. But I I needed encouragement. He he feels so much better after we talked and we prayed and we laughed and we went through all the different emotions and talked about. Fam, I needed it too, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much, it, 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 it was a blessing to me as well. And bro, just always know that even when you're struggling or you or you got certain things going on, family stuff, personal stuff, work stuff, ministry stuff, business stuff, trying to get things off the ground, trying to do this and that. You get beef over here, beef over there, beef over there, beef over there, whatever. Yo, man, as long as you're on Christ's team, he's always going to show up and do what he has to do to make sure that, to, to remind you of where you at, what team you on, who you rocking with, and who needs to be served while you're still trying to navigate, you know, the, the paths that you're on, man. Bruh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Me dressed like this, you wouldn't even have thought that I, I'll be ready to pray in the middle of Walmart, man. I know my man was like, nah, I don't want to pray right now. People going to look. I'm like, I don't care, bro. Yo, let's get it, homie. If we talk about we followers of the Lord, let's pray wherever we at. Until these, until they start um, putting up martial law and putting guns to our head and start blasting Christians in their head while they praying on the street, in the aisles, you know, on a block, whatever. Yo, man, then it doesn't matter where you at. You don't got to be... Where no pulpits and where no pews are to get prayer. You can get prayer whatever you at, homie. And yeah, that's right. Middle of Walmart, man. We did our thing. And it was awesome. It was great to feel that burden of, of my brother just get lifted, man. That cloud of fogginess 
around his head is dissipate, you feel me? And it's awesome, man. It's awesome to witness. It's awesome to be a part of the story, the grand story that God continue to write for people. And it's not about just my doing, it's about his doing and me actually want to be a part of it. You feel me? He always get the glory, period. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about me, it's all about him. You know what I mean? So yo, that's all a little bit of the testimonial time. Hope we get a little bit more uh, videos here and there. Um, you know, I'll be I'll be I'll be back on and try to do some other stuff in the near future. For sure. You know what I mean? I'm still trying to re-ramp some things and explore some stuff, but I'm telling you, fam, just make sure you're always available because you never know. You never know. You might think you're struggling, you're down. And the Lord puts you in a situation where you gotta step in the gap, man, and be that rock for somebody else, man. Even when you could be going through something and you like, wow. I needed that too, Lord. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right? So, yo, that's enough for me rambling, talking. Not rambling, really just talking, but to share a little bit of my testimony. You can leave your comment down below. You can let me know what's up. You need prayer. You know my email. Holler at me. Yo, subscribe, man. Follow the page, homie. Hit that notification button if you're on YouTube. You feel me? Yo, man, we got more on the way. All right? It's Benny, man. I'm out. Later.